Hello, welcome back to this third and final tutorial on XCircuit, a free circuit drawing program. And in this uh, example, I will be drawing circuit diagram of an instrumentation amplifier. We have three op amps and a couple of resistors and two input signals, the differential input signal here and one output signal here. Now, uh, to uh, start X circuit, you just double click on this icon. And it's a good idea to keep your work uh, frequently saving because, you know, at times um, this X circuit crashes, some, especially in uh, perhaps in Windows. But it's a very powerful program. 3 OPM IA instrumentation amplifier, and I will save it on my desktop in X circuit figures folder. Save, apply, okay, and write file. So I will have this uh, file here, uh, post a script file, but I won't have anything there at this moment because we haven't drawn anything yet. Now to access circuit components, you have to go to the library and to go to the component library, you press just L. So you hit L button on your keyboard, L, and that way you will be in this library and you can, you know, grab a op amp and op amp symbol. Now click somewhere here and then left click and drag it here. All right. And if you want to draw three, this three op amp um, instrumentation amplifier, you will notice that this positive terminal or the non inverting terminal is here. And here the non-inverting terminal is on the top. So it means you will have to flip one of those. So you just keep your cursor here and press C for copying and put one instance here and one instance of this one, this symbol here and press escape to come out of this mode. Now to, you know, flip it, uh, first of all, if you go here, you will see there are a number of key bindings or shortcuts from your keyboard and perhaps you would like to remember some of those and uh, uh, one among them of course is you know flip horizontally and vertically F and shift F so I will put my cursor here and press shift F to flip it and that way I will have this positive and non-inverting terminal here now to grab a resistor I will again go to the library component library press L and grab this resistor here and since this is highly symmetrical structure so i will put it symmetrically so one grade two grade three and one two three perfect it's nicely placed in the middle of these two op amp symbols and then to wire things up i will click here and click here because I want to make a 90 degree turn and by when I say click simply click it means left click and because I have to end my wire here so I will just you know press shift and left click all right click here and because I want to make a 90 degree turn so click left click means and then I want to end this wire here so shift and left click all right and then I can put my cursor here and press C, hit C button to copy and then press R a couple of times, okay? So it will rotate, put this one here and similarly put this one here symmetrically, okay? And per perhaps put this resistor here, this resistor here, one more resistor here and one more resistor here. Right, that's all is need that that's all are needed to create diagram of this instrumentation amplifier. Now click here, extend this wire here, and shift left click to end that wire there, and start here, shift left click to end this wire here, and then pre perhaps press L and grab these kind of uh, circles. Uh, usually you put at the input terminal or the bias terminal of uh, circuits grab this here yes, and C move this here press escape to come out of that mode and then uh, wire this as well shift wire this as well shift uh, sorry shift left click and click here left click 
left click, left click, or one more time, and finally shift left click. So click here, and then click once more, again cl left click, and shift left click for ending it here. All right, and then perhaps move this one a bit there, move this one here, move this one here or here and then I have to grab a ground symbol so that's what I will do put this one here and perhaps here and then left click shift left click 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 okay and here as well left click because I want to make 90 degree turns left click again 90 degree turn left click and finally shift left click and then get a wire shift left click to end this wire here now begin here click I mean left click and left click to make a 90 degree turn left click to make a 90 degree turn and shift left click to end this wire here similarly left click left click left click and shift left click to end this wire here okay so that way we have our instrumentation amplifier sometimes you need uh, to show those uh, diagrams like uh, this one uh, sorry those dots so that you can do by putting your cursor here and hitting the full stop button or dot on your keyboard dot a dot here and a dot here sometimes i remind you sometimes x circuit would crash so it's a good idea to keep saving your work frequently. That's what I will do now. Write, apply, apply, or overwrite. Okay. Sometimes you would like to make colorful diagrams. So for example, suppose these two initial is op-amps. I want to color them, uh, you know, give them a different color. So I will shift, press shift button because I want to select two of them. So if escape. If you want to choose only one of them, just click here. Sorry about that. Sorry. Shift left click and just uh, leave it and press escape to come out of that mode. And if you want to select more than one, so press shift button and just, you know, start clicking on these elements. And that way you will be able to select more than once. And then go ahead and choose their color. For example, the initial stage is C green. So this is how it, they will look. And this stage, shift left click. Choose that one and then highlight this with red. So this is red, okay? And go file, X right, apply, apply, override, and then go to that folder and double click on that one. And here you go. You have this best fit here and uh, everything nice looking diagram. And sometimes what you do is you, you like to uh, write names of these uh, components. So if you want to type in text press t for text and then press r for resistor and you can go ahead and you can go to text style if you want to put something in subscript that you can do by clicking here so subscript and then if you type anything here it will go in subscript if you want to make it italic so just shift left click to select this one and text style italic and then you can drag it here all right, then type in T, R, and suppose uh, I want to make this italic, so I will press uh, left arrow button, text style italic, and then again right arrow, and then text style normal, cancel, 